Hi everyone, welcome to our channel where we explore the exciting world of programming and technologies. And in today's video, we are going to deep dive into the world of AI driven chatbots. So we are going to integrate the whole new chat GPT into Django. Before we get started, as you can see, the code is already available on the GitHub and the link will be given in the description. So if you want to check that out, make sure to check that out. I'm going to close this and we'll go to the editor and I have my editor open and we'll start by creating our environment. And now we use pip env instead of virtual env because I feel this is little time saving for me. and. I can show you all better. So as we saw, as I created the PPNV shell, it automatically got activated and we did not have to manually activate it. So this is that and we are going to start by, sorry, PPENV install Django. So we are going to install Django and we'll set up our project first and then we'll install the plugin required for chat GPT API and sorry, it is SDK, I believe. And uh, after that, we are going to do that. So I'm going to clear this. Let's create our project first. So as usual, Django admin start project and I will call it as demo, sorry, SRC and we'll navigate inside SRC and we will create our project. So chat, sorry, Django admin start app and we'll call it this as demo. So our project is created now. Now we will have to do is do the configuration. There are only two configuration required for this project. Actually two, yes, two, three configuration required for this project. So we'll go inside the SRC, SRC and then settings.py. Okay. So we are going to create our template directory over here. So template underscore DIR and that will be derived from base DIR front slash and then we are going to have templates folder and I'll put it front slash over here itself. This is done. We'll go inside templates and we will store it over here, like put it over here. Now this is that and we have to install our newly installed app and that is called as demo. So that is done now. Now we are going to uh, go to demo and views.py and in this one first we are going to create our first index view that will load the index.html and then we are going to create another view that will help us in like getting the basically uh, communication between the user and the chat GPT. So we will do that. For that we are going to start by creating our index uh, view and that will take in request and after request it will only do is return renderer and pass in the request and then whatever the template name is. So I'm going to call it as index.html. This is ready. Now we are going to create another function or another view called as chat GPT. This will also take in request and what we can do is we can take the, let's say we will create a function and that function we will pass whatever the user has passed from front end via the Ajax request and we will send it to that function. So for that, I'm going to take it from the request.get. So that means it will come from the URL request.get and we will say it as prompt because that is what I'm going to use and we will call get chat GPT response or let's call it as get chat response. Okay. And we'll pass in this prompt over there and we will get a response from the chat GPT. I know we haven't created this function yet. We will create it very soon. So uh, let's first return the response. So in order to return this response, we are going to do HTTP response and JSON dump so that it uh, this function or this view is used as uh, can be used along with the uh, Ajax calls. Okay, so that's why we are going to do work now HTTP response and inside this we are going to do JSON dumps so that whatever response is that it, it is JSON serializable or like it is JSON, it can be transferred over uh, uh, API calls. So response and here it will be content type, content type equal to application slash JSON. And we are going to import all these. Uh, so first of all, we'll import the JSON. So import JSON and then we are going to import the uh, HTTP response. So that comes from, from Django dot HTTP import HTTP 
response our this function is ready just that we have to create this one so here we'll create our chat response okay so for that i'm going to create a new file called as a uh, chat gpt chat gpt dot pi in order to use chat gpt we have to install a package called as open ai so i'm going to do that pip env install open ai now over here we are going to import that so import open ai and we are going to create a function and that function will be called as get chat response okay and this will take in prompt and over here first of all we need the key so open ai dot api underscore key will be let's keep it as blank because i will show you all how to get that and we are going to say response equal to open ai open ai dot completion dot create this is how we are going to use that to create our response and in this there are only few parameters and very easy to understand parameters so we are going to take that so first parameter is called as engine so that is what we are going to give and it is like which uh, chat gpt engine that we want to use for now we, we are going to use text dash divenci dash 003 i think this is the latest one from them and please make sure the spellings are correct and then we are going to say prompt equal to prompt so this is the qu uh, query that we are giving then max token e sorry tokens equal to 50 then sorry uh, it is only 50 then temperature equal to 0.5 and n equal to 1 so this is how we get our chat uh, gpt uh, request and response and then what we are going to do is we are going to return that response okay so return and this can return multiple responses so we are going to extract the first one so uh, out of from the response take the choices zeroth one zero choice and then text dot trim sorry instead of trim let's use so our chat gpt uh, function is ready and this will return us with response for whatever prompt we give now our chat gpt is integrated let's go back to the views and import it over here so from dot view sorry from dot uh, chat gpt import chat gpt response and our second function is also fully ready okay we have one more thing to do that is uh, you create this key and like use it so what i'm going to do is instead of directly pasting it over here we are going to import it from the settings so in order to import it from settings file, we are going to use from django.con import settings. And in this, we are going to use settings dot chat so gpt underscore key. And since this is not present in settings.py, we are going to create it. Usually y'all could have created this or like y'all could have used environ package or any other importing environment package and used it over here but instead of that what i'm going to do is directly paste it for this video purpose but in production make sure or make sure to uh, import it from environment file or even when you're committing uh, committing this project uh, like on any of the git tools uh, say github gitlab or any other place make sure to use environ package or any other package that will import it from .env file or at least clear this and then like push the code because if your api key is exposed anyone could use it and like y'all will be built for that so let's go to the browser and uh, try to get this this is the page that we have to land on and in order to land on this page we can say uh, chat gpt api key this is what we have to google and the first page which comes will lead you over here okay so here before creating any new package a new secret key over here we have to set up a paid account because in order to use this api i wasn't able to use it without setting up the paid account and paid account does not mean it will always charge you but uh, y'all can set the usage limit and then it will charge you very minimum but if you see uh, wait let me try to find the usage here 
like even if you see no matter how much i use it is very limited the credit gets very limited used and these are free credits so it is not like you all will be charged from the start itself so set up the paid uh, account click on i am an individual or whichever suits you and then set up the card information this is just required and it will not charge you for anything until you ex uh, exceed the usage limit usage or free usage you can say so once you are done with that setting up the credit card we will go to usage limit and here we can set the limit okay so i'm going to switch to the other browser where i have a paid account set up so here i have paid account set up and uh, like if you go to usage this is what i have set it to hard limit is $1 that is what i have set to and soft limit to 0.5 because it is fine for me if uh, these are the charges or like uh, based on your needs you can set that up and if we go to you guys i'm using like too much of this and see it, it has charged me only this much right now okay and then we will go back to the api keys once your account is set up we will go back to the api keys we are going to create a new secret key and let's say this uh for video demo okay and then create the secret key once that is done you all will get the secret key uh, let's say done and then we are going back to the browser let me close this one and paste it over here please make sure not to commit this key after the video is recording is done i'm going to delete it otherwise i will be built sorry i will be yes built and yes this is how we get the chat gpt key now uh, we will create our html template so i'm going to create a file called as index.html inside templates directory so this is what it is i'm going to you know what since this html code is dumb code uh, even the styling is dumb and like uh, javascript most of the part is dumb so i'm going to like paste the code and quickly get over this and then i will show you all what is the main part and how do we integrate the api call so all our html coding is done html styling css and script is script is ready now before we get started that is to make an api call to here we have to register these ur uh, these views in our urls.py so for this since it is a very mini project so i'm going to integrate it in this one itself so i'm going to call from dot uh, demo sorry it should be from demo import views and we are going to duplicate these two times first time it will be blank and on blank path we are going to load uh, views dot index so this will load the index page and on second one we are going to give a path of chat underscore gpt and this will load views dot chat gpt so our urls are ready we are going to go to the index dot html over here in order to make the backend api call we have to like do ajax calls and for ajax calls we require to import the jquery library so i'm going to go over here and type in jquery cdn and we are going to go to the first one and i'm going to use the minified one and like copy this close it and paste it over here so our jquery import is done now uh when button is clicked oh before that let's open this run the project and see how it looks clear python uh we might have to navigate inside the src yes python manage.py no python manage.py run server and we are going to go over here and right now this is how it looks so if i click on hi and send it it goes so this is how it looks so what we want is and uh, if we see a uh, network and again say hello nothing happens so what we want is whenever this this is typed and send button is clicked an api call should be made to the back end to this particular view and that will return us with whatever the response is and we want to show it over here right so that is what we are going to do 
and in order to do that in the index.html uh, we can see send button dot event click so what this mean uh, whenever send button is clicked this particular function let's say function runs so over here i'm going to do is ajax call and the format of ajax call is dollar dot ajax and this is like this it will take in the url url will be our http let's take one to seven dot zero dot zero dot one is to eight thousand slash chat gpt slash because that's how django expects it and if you remember in the views we are taking prompt from the get get means from the url so we are going to pass the prompt over here so prompt equal to what will be prompt prompt will be this message because this is what uh, we append it so prompt is done now what is the type of the request type of the request is get and what is the data type data type is json json and on success a function should run and function will take in a re response and what we are going to do is first of all console.log response so that like we verify everything is coming properly and it should be like shown over here right like this one so for that we are going to append that we are going to call this function append message uh, whatever this response is we are going to append that and this will be instead of uh, send it will be received save it let's go to the browser refresh and let's start by saying what is the temperature in goa today to send a request is made and we are waiting for made some mistake looks like oh this uh, sorry this is message over here not prompt so let's save this and refresh the page and let's say again what is the temperature in goa today and this is our second request went and with this query param and we got response from the chat gpt so this is what it looks like the current temperature in goa is around 29 degree believe me it is much more than that uh, then what you all can do is log this response and check what uh, what chat gpt replies us with let's say what is the next question who will win uh, this year's ipl send over here <laughs> nice answer uh, but let's go and see what print uh, like what exact responses we got and then you all can experiment with these parameters uh, like make it up or down and based on that you uh, find the right answer and suggest to the user congratulations guys we have successfully integrated chat gpt into our django project now your website can actually uh, help user with their personalized queries and have conversations with this bot thank you for joining us in this exciting video where we created chat gpt uh, with django and for more such exciting videos make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video if you have found this helpful see you in the next one